So there's a, there's a widespread perception that a lot of uh, social media status updates on Facebook and on Twitter are kind of dull or, or gossipy or just sandwich related. And so my, my collaborator, Kurt Luther, in discussion with Michael Bernstein and I, were uh, thinking, well, what if, say, you know, Facebook had a dislike button? What would that tell us? How can we make these things more interesting? Often you're just uh, you're tweeting into a void. There's very little feedback from your followers about what they liked or what they disliked and also why. So if we start to understand this, then we can uh, start to design tools and clients to, to maybe filter out certain content or to present content in different ways. And also some of the, the emerging kind of norms and accepted practice on these sites, um, how people are putting themselves across, how people are being perceived, so that we can help people both create more valued content and also consume more valued content. To understand these questions of content value that we had, we needed a lot of ratings of tweets. So we designed a website called Who Gives a Tweet, and people would come along and it advertised anonymous feedback from both followers and from strangers. Using about 40,000 ratings that we got, we found that for the sort of average user, they like about 40% of their feeds. So there's a lot of content there that they're sort of either just neutral about or they actively dislike. And so for the type of users we had, they really preferred information sharing or questions to followers or sort of personal opinions on things. What was disliked was the sort of me now, the sort of current activity, current mood, um, or sort of location, four square location check and stuff like that. So from our findings, we might be able to in the future design tools to better present information. Maybe certain followers are going to be displayed in different ways in your feed, whether it's just the size of the content, maybe we're going to filter some content out. We know that over time we could learn that you like a certain type of content from a certain type of people. That may change. You know, you like links from one person, but you like personal opinions from someone else. Some of these sort of location check-ins may be better visualized in a different way. Maybe this should be on a map. You know, that's going to be a better representation of them rather than just constantly filling up your feed. In the future, we really want to broaden this. We want to generalize this, understand, does this apply to all Twitter users? You know, what different types of communities and users exist and, and how do they value and how do those values change? Uh, we also want to think about how end users could use this information. Maybe we had a, a Twitter client that, as people are reading their tweets, they're liking and disliking stuff. So how could we as researchers use that? But also how could you, as a, as a you know, Twitter user, use that information as well?